Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be building a platybelodon, I think that's how you say it, um, enclosure and I think it turned out really well. So I hope you liked it because I spent like five and a half hours doing this, um, not just building, preparing and other stuff like recording the recording took another hour but i'm not going to include that um so here i'm building a pathway so you visitors can look through the enclosure what's on the other side that part there that's on the screen is going to be an indoor area the other side is a outdoor lookover area from a higher place the, this one's from a more ground level the blue wool is outlining where the water's going to be. The white wool, uh, not the white wool, the yellow wool is going to be where the, like, the terrain terraforming is going to go. And the red wool is marking where people are going to be. So right now I'm still working on the, on the visitor area. I'm right now putting a stone wall up to make it look better I guess <laughs> I'm not very good at this commentating stuff but I'm gonna continue the stone wall all around the the map after I put a little bit more dirt there apparently <laughs> I get very mixed up over some of this stuff I, I should say I just hit 200 subscribers and I haven't uh, uploaded in like t a month I, I f I'm so sorry about that but um it's the holidays and I've been doing stuff and I'm gonna try and upload a bit more so I have tried to do a massive enclosure to own up to what you've got what you guys have missed out on well it, have you missed out on anything <laughs> I don't know um, it's right now 10 o'clock at night and I'm recording this so I'm sort of being a little bit quiet. So sorry if my voice sounds a bit croaky or something, that's because I'm trying to be quiet and also loud at the same time. I've put some brownstone, I think it's called, at the bottom of the little wool areas to make it so like if w the height, <coughs> if, if the Sorry, excuse me. If the tide goes up on the water, uh, it leaves a mark on the stone, and that's f sort of what it looks like. I don't know, I think it's a nice touch, though. Almost finished the surrounding wall. I've used a chiseled version of cobblestone and just normal stone, and the brown stone at the bottom. And I think the wall turned out really well L good <laughs> I don't know words um, I started putting grass along under the path because I want it to be like a floating path with beams holding it up as you can probably see I've used fencing from the Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod and I actually really like that fencing probably going to use it again Put another wall behind the viewing area so they can't look over and look at internal nothingness of just grass. Around here I think I do some messing about. I don't know. Uh, I will, because I got bored and I randomly decided that I wanted to try out the Mr. Crayfish's car mod, <laughs> vehicle mod, there we go, <laughs> then I get my golf cart, I don't know what I was doing, but I got a little bit bored, so I had to entertain myself, then I got right back to doing it, I've used a chisel version of iron bars and a chiseled andesite for the more closer walls. I, I don't know what you would call it, but 
yeah, those walls more closer to the ground and more open. So that that I've used diamond as a template. Um so it wasn't just broken blocks. So it Well <laughs> I've seen well done YouTubers do it. Um uh, I can't name any right now because I forgot them, but I do watch them. Here we go. I put mud in under because that's where the water is going to be. And I, I replaced the diamond with coarse dirt. Now I start terraforming up the grass. Don't put too much high bits for grass. I think it's just those three bits there. And then I put a massive rock there, and then I put a bunch of small little rocks with uh, viney moss all around them. Should m mention, uh, what else would you like to see on my channel? I really don't know. I'm completely fine with doing uh, dinosaur, well, prehistoric animal um, enclosures and those, but I want to know if you guys want to see anything else. I welded it the rest of the course dirt into the ground and then I put like a dry grass in. I forgot what mod, mod it's from but I think it suits um, what I'm going for here. I don't put too much around. I think I could have done with a bit more but it's fine. You also can't place trees on it and I wanted a lot of trees so yeah. <laughs> I put a bunch of bushes around and then I get into trees. I use the dynamic tree mod again because it would be painful to do all the trees one by one and I was running out of time because I think I had to do something. I don't know. I recorded this like two days ago. I used um, a, oh, I forgot what it's called, it's like ma, something starting with M, then willow uh, trees and savannah trees, acacia trees I mean, and oak trees. I think they all work really well together. Here's the end. Um, so I walk up this area here, there's some, there's a nice, like you can barely see it, the platybolodon, he's just chilling there. <laughs> and then, <coughs> excuse me, then I walk up here and look over the viewing area, I put a lot more plants in, well, I put a lot of plants in but then it started lagging in the recording so I just cut it out. So there's a lot of plants, there's vines and everything in. I th I'm actually really really proud of this enclosure. I think it did really well. I was obviously going for a swampy, jungly swampy style habitat enclosure and I think I mastered it <laughs> here's the indoor viewing area not much interior I can't I'm not very good at interiors <laughs> So I just try my best on the outside and hope for the best.
but I did put some lights and benches in benches from this greyfish mod again I'm pretty sure they are and then put a few relic scraps of, no not are they called relics I don't know um from the fossil and archaeology mod that's that dude yeah so um as I said I spent like Five hours, almost six maybe, I don't know, doing this in total, so I would really appreciate a like because I honestly don't think this video will do well. I want this video to be uploaded tomorrow morning so that's why I'm recording it this late, that's why my voice sounds stupid as well. And I think that's the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> then I guess I'm sad because, yeah, <laughs> here's my colourful couch. And I, what, what, <laughs> I don't know what to say to end the video. Um, bye. <laughs>